guys, it's manager Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all the different pieces of equipment you need to play soccer. So today I'm gonna go through the different pieces of equipment you need to play soccer. This is recommended if you're a beginner to the sport, or even if you've been playing the sport for a while, what different pieces of equipment you need. This sport doesn't require as much equipment as some other sports do, but I'm still gonna go through some of the different things and some of the different sizes and everything to look at, depending on your age and skill level. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely subscribe button, turn the bell to get notified every time I upload as I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time and we're going to dive into the equipment you need. I will also be listing in the description down below links to a lot of these different pieces of equipment. I'll be linking some of my favorite brands, but definitely check out different brands depending on what brand you prefer to use, whether that's Adidas, whether that's Nike. Trying to figure out which brand works best for you and what's most comfortable for your playing style. Um, but I will be linking a few in the description if you're interested. There's not a ton of, of equipment for soccer, but one big important piece of equipment is cleats. You do need some sort of cleat you play on grass or turf generally um, and the cleats just help you stick in while you're running and moving around up the field so definitely some sort of soccer cleat these are generally rubber cleats um, they don't have metal on the bottom as you do uh, play on turf and you could end up sliding into somebody so you do have some sort of rubber cleat you also need shin guards so what these are just to protect your shins from other people kicking around at your shins especially in the younger ages you're going to end up kicking each other more than you're gonna kick the ball. So it's important to have some sort of shin guard just to protect your shins from everybody's feet kicking around, the ball rolling into it, things along that line. You're also gonna need a soccer ball and this is where some of the sizing comes in. There's different sizes of soccer ball depending on your age. So you're probably gonna start off with a size three soccer ball as a junior, work up to a size four in some of your like elementary school ages and then once you hit middle school on, you're gonna be with a size five and that is a full size soccer ball. So just understanding depending on your age and your league requirements, what size ball you need. Um, it's just a little bit easier to control if you have smaller feet to control a much smaller ball. If you're playing goalie or if you're trying to play goalie, you're gonna need some sort of goalie glove. These just give you extra padding on the hand so that when you're grabbing the ball with your hands, you're the only player that can touch it with your hands. You have a little bit of extra padding, especially if people are clicking at it at the same time. So you're gonna want some sort of goalie glove for the person playing goalie. You're also gonna want some some sort of long sock to go over the shin guard as well. So these are generally socks that even sometimes go all the way up to like around your knee. Some sort of long sock that can cover both your foot and then all the way up your foot and cover your shin guard as well. So definitely something long. You can even do this with your team colors. It's kind of up to you what sock you use. You're also going to want some sort of bag to carry everything around in. They do make soccer specific bags that have a compartment to hold your ball in or you can get any type of duffel bag or sports bag but the bags that hold a ball are very nice because you can put your ball in one pocket and then you put all your other stuff in the other pocket, like your cleats and things like that. And so this is just a nice feature to have to hold all your different soccer things. You're also gonna want some sort of water bottle. You can use any type of water bottle for this. You could use Gatorade ones, um, or if you have any sort of other preference on water bottles, you don't have any sort of helmet or mask on, so you can pretty much use any sort of water bottle. And then finally, this last thing is optional, or actually a lot of this is optional from the bag, the water bottle um, but this one as well as optional is if you want a mouth guard um, if you have any fear of like your teeth or anything like that I would definitely recommend one um, especially as you get older you are generally hitting the ball off your head as well so a mouth guard can be helpful just to protect any sort of teeth injury especially if you're running into other players or anything along that lines so I know soccer doesn't have a lot of equipment but this is all the equipment you need to play soccer um, your coaches will also have things like cones um, and different things to do drills you might want some sort of reversible penny to be able to um, play in different drills depending on what your coach prefers um, but this is just some of the basic equipment. If you have any questions about this sport or any other sports and their equipment, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs>